Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I've revisited the pinwheel style card, but I've changed it slightly and I've added acetate and it looks really cool. So the idea to use the acetate came during a Facebook Live where I made this version because I'd recently received all of this lovely Shaun the Sheep paper. Um, it was a paper collection and in there were these washi stickers. And it's not something I generally use in my day-to-day -day crafting, but I wanted to find a fun way to use them and I come up with this one. And the, the thing I love the most is that the reverse side of them works as well. So as you go around each side, you can see the other side. Apart from the sentiment, I love that one there. <laughs> but apart from the um, sentiment, which reads back to front, everything else, I think it just works really well. Of course, if you've never seen this style before and you don't want to use acetate, I have tutorials showing you where all of these pieces are cardstock and you can stamp on them and use your pattern papers and stuff but there's something quite lovely about the acetate whether it's because I've used the snowfall acetate here and then for somewhere to write your message I'm going to change it slightly on today's so and I'm going to have an actual panel on the back but I've got this little area here and we were laughing during the live so I said all it will say is to so and so from Sam <laughs> so that's the only bit of space I've got but some people said you could roll some you know paper and maybe slide it down in there and then fold it all flat so if you want to keep all of them acetate that is but there's lots of ways to change this up you could also have every other acetate and then every other cardstock I think it's a really fun design there's definitely lots of scope there to you know make it work with what you've got so let's get started So this one folds down to a six by seven size, but if you check out my older tutorials, I've got quite a few different sizes. I think on the first one, I show you um, quite a few samples and they're all listed then all the measurements in my blog. So across this and the two other tutorials, you should have or be able to find the size that you want. But if you're happy with the size that that folds down to, then you want to cut yourself a piece of six and a half by six. And along the six and a half side, you're going to score at one, two, three, four, five, six these are optional but i think you'll want to use them in the end because when i stuck the acetate down you could see the sticky strip of the double-sided tape so then i cut these ones to cover it so they are just slightly under one inch by the six inch height of the card you want six of those and then you want to cut yourself six pieces of three by six acetate the acetate i'm using here in fact i'm not showing you any of the product this is the acetate i've purchased this a couple of years ago I got the 50 sheet pack I think this one was it's from Hunky Dory it's called Snowfall Acetate I'll link it below but you can get smaller packs if you don't want that much but it's something I go through a lot at Christmas time or for my Christmas makes so that's why I got the bumper pack and this is all the Shaun the Sheep so you've got papers I'm going to use the paper collection um, in other tutorials um, it's not that one I keep picking the wrong one up coordinating card pack there stamp and dies sticker sheets and then washi stickers and this is the one we're focusing on today is the washi sticker sheets so like i said you might only want to do three of these and then three in cardstock you might be doing all yours in cardstock and you don't want to use the acetate either way you want to cut yourself six pieces of three by six and then i've cut myself two pieces of two and a quarter by four and those are going to go on the back panel and that will be where i write my message okay so grab this piece here and you want to fold and burnish all of the score lines and then I'm just going to snip off a little bit at each end of that tab. And then I'm just going to take my glue and just run that all the way down the tab. And then fold over the last one inch section and then the half inch tab with the glue on. And then fold over two from this side. So that way you've got your three panels on the front and your three panels on the back. You can also have this, so rather than it being a hexagon, it can be a square. And I show you those ones as well in the tutorials. I think the hexagon pinwheel one I've used with like decorative edges as well. So there's, there is tons of inspiration amongst those other tutorials, like I said. So I'm going to have the join at the back. And now what you want to do is take your six panels here. And I'm just using some double-sided tape. And what I will do first, actually, rather than stick it onto the acetate, is I'm going to stick it onto each of these. I wouldn't worry about going right up to the top and covering the whole area. It's, you know, it's a light piece of acetate, even if it's cardstock. You could use wet glue, um, you know, your liquid glues if it's um, cardstock, just because I'm using the acetate. But I prefer to use this 
and then take the backing off and then take one of these and I'm going to line it up with the left side of that section. Make sure the base is all nice and flush and then stick that down. So this is where I was saying about you can see the tape. It's I mean, because there's pattern on the acetate and once I'd started sticking the stickers on, you know, it did disguise it a bit, but it was bugging me. So then you want to stick one of these over and just bring it out a little bit from the fold because you don't want it buckling. So again, I'm going to stick that over the top and just do that as I go. If you want, stick all the acetate down first and then go and stick these on. But whilst I've got it like this, we'll do it together. Again, line up the base because you don't want your card rocking. So now we've got one of the panels. So I'm just going to take this one off. Mine are all going to hang out over to the right hand side. If you want yours all hanging out to the left hand side, then start from this side and line it up with that fold. But whatever way you go, you want to make sure they all go the same way. Otherwise, it won't open. So now again, just lining up the base. Make sure you keep everything nice and straight. And then another piece of tape over the top. And then take that one off. And just repeat with this one. And then I'll show you how to make sure you get the other ones right. Okay, so now if I bring this around, you'll see you've got one half of your pinwheel there. Now fold it down so you've got the next three facing you and these will all be folding out to the left. But you're just going to continue now, ignore those and just stick again the same way so that yours are all hanging off to the right. So I'm going to take this one. Again, just repeat exactly what you did on the other side. Okay, so that is your pinwheel card. And then when you bring it up into that hexagon shape there, you can see the really cool design. Lots and lots of fun. For the envelope, because this folds down to six by seven, so I used my envelope punch board and you've got the measurements here for six by seven. You want to cut yourself a piece of ten and a quarter squared. Your first score's at four and three quarters. I have a tutorial showing you how to use this, but I've also got tutorials showing you how to make your own DIY envelopes, any size from scratch. You don't need any tools. So hopefully something for everyone. There's box envelopes as well, because some of you may add a lot more dimension to this and there will be linked. So I've got an envelope playlist. So everything you need is there. So now to decorate. So just decide on the front and back. I can't actually really see my join anymore. Oh, there it is. So that is the back for me. So this panel here is where I'm going to stick this one to write my message. Now I did cut two, but actually it's just going to be plain white. What I might do for this one, so I'm just going to bring all these round. I'm just going to add some tape just on this portion here. And then that way you won't see any tape behind this piece. I'm just lining it up in the middle of that section. So it's only glued by that half. It just means from the back it looks neat. I mean, it's going to be right at the back, so no one's going to really see it like that. But, you know, you can kind of see the side there. But I could still then stick some um, of the washi stickers there if I want. So that's the back. So this is my front panel. I'll just bring in all of these here now. If you watched my live, I originally thought that these were just sheets and you had to cut them all out individually. I mean, it does say there washi tape sheets, not washi stickers. So I um, did start to fussy cut and then I thought it feels like there is a frame around them and it's not in the, it's so invisible but it's not until you start to bend around it you can see there that the stickers come off so they are really easy to use but they are very sticky so do you know take your time with it don't rush it you've got these lovely backgrounds here as well i'm going to do something with these in another tutorial um i've got a nice acetate style card that i want to use those with and these i'm thinking i'm possibly going to pop onto a candle so we might do a little gift kind of idea with these so yeah, you've got your Merry Christmas one here. I'm going to pretty much follow the same arrangement that I did on the other one because I do really like it. And then I'm going to stick that across. And you want to make sure that you're working. If I bring in a piece of card, you're working within each three by six acetate section. So one inch of it will have the cardstock over, two inches of it will be the acetate. 
make sure you work with your knacks again when i first stuck it down i went over and stuck onto my next piece of acetate so it might be worth just popping something in between each layer and that way you can really see then you know where you're working i'm going to leave the candy cane and the gingerbread for the minute and then i'm going to go flip that over and i'm going to go to the next side so this one here and this is where I'm going to add my favourite of them all. And I'm glad that they've done this in the stamp set as well. So although this is the last of the washi image, I do have the stamp set for this, which is in that other um, pack that I shared. So just carefully peel that one off. And it was this image that was the one that made me think first to do pinwheel. This would look good on the tower cards as well. So... Just focus on his leg being straight and then just carefully lay the rest down like so. There we go. Again, I'm going to leave the space for the minute because I've cut myself some little silver snowflakes to fill some more of the gaps as well. So what have we got? So we've got that one. Then we've got Sean on his own. Okay, so next I'm going to fill in the gap. So if I just bring that all up now so you can see. So there's the front. And I just love that you can just see through all the layers. And the white panel at the back doesn't take away from that at all. If you think that's how it's going to be displayed, you don't even see that. So you've got the little candy canes here and you've got the gingerbread. And then I've got the snowflakes. All I did with the snowflakes was add a very small amount of liquid glue onto the back stick it down and then i cut it again you want a symmetrical snowflake which they generally should be i think aren't all snowflakes symmetrical maybe i'm wrong another bit of glue on the back there and then stick those together i wouldn't usually use liquid glue on acetate but when it's such a small area like that you, it's going to be fine so that's the finished card so you can see the snowflakes. I've added the gingerbread just onto that piece there. Like so. And then it will all fold down like this into the envelope. And then I'm going to add one of the strips. So let's have, what did I do on that one? Let's do the, do the red and green one. There you go. So someone's name will be there and there's the card. So I'll just bring back in this one here. You can see them both again. So yeah, you've got the alternative way to have your space there to write your message. Again, you can see all of that detail. I think they're brilliant. I know they're not for everyone, but just for a fun way and something different. Um, and a, yeah, to use your acetate with the washi sheets. I think it's um I think it's really good. But like I said, look out for the other style acetate card I'm going to be doing with the seams and maybe the stamps. I'm not sure yet. I do still have a couple of these left, so I'd like to use them. Maybe I'll focus with that one and him in the background. I did rip him slightly there, but I'm going to save that when I go to use it. So yeah, definitely be another tutorial using that. And then I've got all of the paper collection as well. So there's a lot to it. So I hope you've enjoyed this one anyway. It's given you some inspiration. All of the products that I've used will be linked in the description box below. I'll have the, like I said, the um, envelope tutorials as well. So you can go and check those out and the other pinwheel tutorials as well. See you all again soon. Bye.